What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to Burley Fishing. Today, I've got an unbagging for you. This is the new Monster Bass Regional bag. It is no longer a box, it's a bag. We're gonna talk about why that is and maybe why it should help us or be beneficial or be cool. And you guys let me know what you think in the comments as well. I'm excited to hear your thoughts on this. I think it's cool. We're gonna talk about why here in a second. Before we get into this bag, if this is your first time stopping by the channel, you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing, especially if you like tackle reviews, unboxings, gear reviews, and fishing videos. We do that all here. We go on adventures. We collaborate with other creators. It's a ton of fun. I think you'll enjoy it, so consider it. And then smash the like on this video, ring that notification bell so you can see when we drop more content, and come hang out with me and my buddy Paul as we talk all things fishing and not fishing Thursdays at 8 p.m. Eastern. Love to see you there and talk to you in chat. Here it is, the first Monster Bass bag. Have other companies done this? Yes. Do other companies sell this thing? Yes. Does that matter? No. Why should we care about this? Because it holds your stuff. Duh. <laughs> but here's the deal. If you guys are bank anglers, it seems like a no-brainer. You want to carry your plastics in a small, slim package, space saver. Duh. If you guys are kayak anglers, I use these all the time. I have the Bass Mafia money bags. Uh, this gives me a nice smaller profile approach to that where I can really downsize the plastics that I'm bringing with me. This is my go bag. If you guys are in a big bass boat, you probably still use Bass Mafia bags. Here you go. The nice thing is that if you get a bunch of these, for example, you can load them up. You can have them hanging somewhere in your fishing area, designated room whatever, and they could be your go bag. This could be all my Ned plastics, it could be my swim plastics, whatever I want, right? It's reusable, that's the beautiful thing about it. And it's made with like this pretty dang tough material, so you could actually throw like your hook baits in here, or at the very least jigs and stuff like that, if you wanted to. Me personally, I prefer to use just plastics in here, but we're gonna get into what's in this bag right now, so let's check it out. All right, so, I'm gonna go through what you guys might see in your box. Keeping in mind, this is a regional box. I'm from Michigan, so I got the Great Lakes Midwest box. If you guys are in my region, you're gonna see something similar here. If you're in the south, the northwest, the west region, or the east region, you might see something different, right? So keep that in mind as we go through this. Now, that is also the nice thing about Monster Bass is they try to do it regionally specific so that you are getting baits that would work in your waters at this time of year. And we do that by collaborating with amazing fishermen and women out there who are already fishing the dang baits and they tell us what to or not to put in this box. So let's get into this thing. I'm gonna start off with the body baits as I kind of usually do. So first up off the top, we've got a jerk bait. They call this color silver black, but it's like that kind of shad pattern looking thing you might've been accustomed to. It's a half ounce jerk bait from Baker Lures, a little tanny rattle to it, little rattle. So it's a shallow diving, about three foot, maybe a little bit more. You can probably run it down just a little bit. It's a suspending jerk bait, which is money. That is what we want to be fishing most of the time at where I'm at, uh, especially in the colder water. So I think that's going to work really well. Paint looks good. Looks pretty well put together. And then based on the back of the card there, it looks like it's got some superior castability. So you huck this thing right up over them there mountains. And that gives us a lot more time to work it back to the boat. So there we go, jerk bait. Two hook jerk baits. Don't have a ton of them. Definitely don't hate them. Kind of like them actually. You know, this next one here, we got bass bullets. And this looks like a little, little baby deep diver jerk bait. So let's see what this is all about. Look at that, they got a QR code on the back. I don't see that too much. Get ready to rip some lips with bass bullets. <laughs> All right, pattern is pretty slick. It's that blue chrome, AKA one of the best colors of all time. A uh, little gill dot on there. Look at the eyes, angry eyes. Gigantic diving lip, but it's tapered, so it's gonna have a really tight wobble to it. Uh, again, two hooks here, hooks feel fine. All right, I hooked, I did it. I finally hooked myself. Days since last incident, back to zero. Uh, but hooks are fine, they're very sticky actually. I think it's got a nice pattern to it and looks good. Nice small presentation, something I would be happy to throw here in the Midwest, so it's making sense for my region. Next up, got a nice big boy here. 
This is the Booyah Hard Knocker. You guys like lipless baits, this is one of my favorites. Uh, a couple things I like about this. Number one, different size trebles. So small treble in the back, big treble in the front. I like that a lot. I think it helps with the action as well as not getting hung up as much. And then as the name would suggest, she knocks. She knocks real hard. Color is yellow perch, so I'm throwing this if I'm looking for a more natural presentation, matching the forage in the area. Big red eyes on there, red eye lipless, always does great. And then nice tapered back, so this has action. I love the Booyah lipless, I actually throw them a lot, I have a ton of them. I think they run true, um, they're easy to get vibrating right off the start, so they got good action to them. And they're durable. I mean, I you can't you can't really knock that. This is a three quarter ounce, um, but I'm probably fishing deep right now. It's colder water, so that also makes sense. And being that it's one of my favorite types of liplesses, I'm pumped about it. So we get to this. So we got by Tommy Biffle here, the Biffle Junkyard Jig. It's a river to sea jig. River to Sea makes great stuff, especially the Whopper Plopper, but here we go with a jig that I've never fished. So colors Bama Bug, and we're looking at three quarters of an ounce. This is a heavy boy. So I've fished rattling jigs before, but check this out. This thing's got like two chambers back here. A little bit of a rattle to it, but it's that, that Bama Bug color. So we got lots of green pumpkin and purple in here. You got a big, flat, tapered head, so we're getting that standing up on the bottom situation. A little bit of a shorter hook. So you're doing like a, a chunk craw, something smaller kind of trailer on this thing. And then like a nice stout, stout brush guard. You are gonna put this on a heavy rod with braid, 65 pound preferable, and you are going to rip that fish's face the frick off. So we got a hand tied skirt, if you can see that in there, it's tied on. So that's gonna hold up pretty good. Uh, do we have a bait keeper in there? Bait keeper, bait keeper. It's down there. Yeah, bait keeper hook. So plastic's gonna stay on. I like it. I like that. That's that's a good looking jig. Also got a little sampler of spear point hooks. Just so you guys know, I'm gonna do a video on the Monster Bass channel this month. So go check it out, Monster Bass on YouTube. Subscribe, and I'm gonna do a plastic rigging episode using these hooks, a few other hooks as well, but also all the plastics that you're about to see here in this box. Probably give you five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different ways to rig plastic, so it might be helpful. Stay tuned for that. Uh, but spear point, we got this unique little lower bend here, which allows you actually to rig worms straighter than you even can on most EWG hooks, and allows you also to pin fish to the hook a little bit easier. So you're gonna land more fish with that. I like those hooks a lot. Okay, so now we get into the plastics, and they sent me a ton. I don't know if this is on purpose or on accident, but I'm just gonna take what I get. Uh, so first up off the top, we got a nice big kind of bug style bait here, with the HR Baits. Uh, so this one they call the Battle Bug. It's a creature bait. Why y'all gotta seal the top where the hanging spot is? You're killing me. Grind, you, know, you wanna know what grinds my gears? <laughs> Anyways, I guess I have to fish them now. All right, so color is a sand crawler. You get six of them. Check this out. That is a nice little body shape to it. Segmented. So it's going to have a little bit more movement, action. We'll, we'll test the durability out on that when we get it on the water. Got your claws, split them apart. So you got like your floating claws here and then these extra appendages coming off the side. So I think that's going to look good. Interesting color. Um, something we could could cut down and throw on that jig or rig it by itself. Texas rig it probably. Do some punch rig because it's pretty slim profile. Do some different stuff. Then we got the juice. We got Candy Baits, the Ned Rig plastic. So they call it the Ned Log. It's watermelon red this color. I like the, the shape of this plastic too actually. Check this out. So we got the ribbed top section there. This is going to be your top. This is going to be your bottom where it tapers down. You can flip it if you want to but 99.9% .9 of the time this end goes to your jig head, right? And this is exposed. So this has more action to it, that's why. And those little like bumps you see there, as water is going over this thing or structure or you know grass or whatever, it's gonna move a lot more. So looks like it's got a ton of action to it. Pretty good stretch, might have decent durability. And we're getting 10, 10 Ned Rigs, man. 
That's gonna go a ways. Okay, so we got some Excite Baits. Looks like a little fluke design. Yes. Green pumpkin, curly tail fluke, my friends. Look at this tail. Yo, are you kidding me? That is actually friggin' sweet. I like that a lot. So, nice big body section here. Your hook section there. So you got a fluke. You rig it, you know, weightless. You can do like lightweights, Texas rig it. You can throw it on a weighted EWG, whatever you want to do. But check this out. Your action that you're now getting off of this thing is going to be from this nice little curly tail, which if you notice, check that out, has this little ball at the end. So that's going to cause it to move a lot more in the water. I think that thing is sweet. Obviously, you know, it's, it's almost close to like a lizard without the appendages too. Uh, so you could sea rig this, Carolina rig it. You could do all sorts of stuff. That is nifty, man. So floating plastic, high floating. So it's going to, you know, if you go weightless and slow in the cold water, this could work really well. We got six of them in here. And Scream Pumpkin, the universal color for everything forever. But fluke style, like finesse fluke style baits work really well where I'm at. So that definitely makes sense for the region. But these I'm super pumped about. So... The finesse swimmer, 4.4 inch finesse swimmer. If there's ever been more oxymoron, <laughs> this giant finesse, you get four of these. Color is Tennessee Shad. Bam, check that out. Sweet color, got some decent durability. Uh, they usually make some decently durable plastics, I think, in my opinion. Uh, you got a nice tapered tail there. So this tail is going to have a ton of action catching water and moving through the water column. And then that ribbed tail section there is also going to help it move a lot more. That is a good looking little swim bait. That is a great size too. I could fish this most of the year. Nice plastics this month. All right. Finally, we get to the Thunderhawk. Thunderhawk. Smoke. The color is called smoke, but we got Thunderhawk. It's called the Camel Craw. This is kind of one of our featured plastics this month. Um, it's going to. Oh my gosh! I am. I'm actually in love with this right now. This is dope. So check it out. We got. We have a defined top section here. It's going to have a little bit more of this ribbed, high action area. Bottom is a little flatter, more durable. So it's not like a two-sided crawl like sometimes you'll see, but you know, check this out. The appendage here, the claw, has this super thick tapered edge. So it's gonna have like some really nice moving action and it's very thin right here. This is gonna allow it to move a lot. So there's tons of action there. You got some side appendages coming off. You can rig it a million different ways. The color's called smoke, so it's like this dark gray with some red and green flake to it. We get six in the bag here as well. That is gonna make real nice plastic to be using. Probably throw it on a flipping hook and just flip it around. Um, but we could also throw it on a jig. We can do all sorts of stuff. So there you go. That is the regional bag from this month. We got the Camel Craw. That finesse swimmer from Big Bite Baits. Nice little fluke with a crazy curly tail, that's unique. I like that. Candy baits Neds, a couple spear point hooks, cause why not? Always need hooks, that's how you catch fish. We got a jig. We got a big old hard knocker there. The Bass Bullets jerk bait and the Baker Lures jerk bait there as well. P.S. I, re I don't really recommend reaching your hand into a bag full of hooks, just FYI. Just, I will be safe, I promise. You guys know me, I'd never hook myself ever. Then we got the HR Baits Battle Bug. Boom, tons of different stuff all in this bag. I don't know if you guys noticed this too, I just noticed this, but contents, I don't know, permanent marker right on here. Is this your Ned bag? You get other bags in future months here, maybe you throw different types of plastics in here. Really just recommend using the plastics and then maybe jigs or something like that. Uh, but this is great for all of your plastics that you guys carry. So. There you go. That is the Monster Bass Regional, pff, almost said box, bag. That is the Monster Bass Regional bag for the month of February for the Great Lakes Midwest region. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy that. If you're looking to get this monthly bag, you guys can go to monsterbass.com, place an order. You can use code SAVE15. 
15 save one five uh to save 15 bucks off for your first bag and they're going to keep doing this some other companies have done it you know once in a while but mb is going to keep doing this and they take your feedback to heart as well so if there's anything you don't like about the bag let them know and they'll definitely put it into consideration and maybe change this bag up rick even mentioned that on a recent video so hey there it is i can't wait to fish these baits i love ice fishing honestly but i just need to get back in my kayak and go open water fishing i know you guys are in cold weather too probably maybe the fishing's off the bite is off you're with me here Let's get back to open water season. We're going to do that. We're going to pack up on tackle until then. So, so if you want to see more unboxing videos, gear reviews, and fishing videos, whether it's on the ice or not, stay tuned on the channel. So consider subscribing, smash the like on this video, ring that notification bell so you can see when we drop more content. And hopefully I'll see you at one of our future live podcasts. Every Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern, drop in and say hi. And I hope to see you then. Thanks for watching, guys. You've been fantastic. And I'll see you out on the water.